Patrick Turner Lee at ptlarts.com in my studio. Um, right, before we start painting, we need to make a canvas. Now you can go down to your hardboard, hardboard hobby craft and pay quite a bit of money for a decent sort of canvas. Um, like especially when you're starting out, it's just worth thinking about making up your own or at least like investigating it. So I'll just show you how fairly straightforward it is and some tips that I've learned. I've made about 200, 250 of my own canvases, all the pictures behind me. I've made them myself and I find it really helps. So I'll just talk you through the basics. Um, let's just have a look at it. Okay, so here we are. So what you can do is online, of course, like everything, you buy boxes of these, like for example, this is 18 mil, 18 mil uh, depth that way. So like these are like standard stretcher bars, as you can see they're grooved and stuff. So you buy them, but you can buy them by the box. So like I buy 24 of these and 24 of these ones which are, they're 14 inches, these are 16 inch. Uh, I like working in inches, even though I am, you know, that's millimeters. Um, yeah, but they're 16 inch by blah, blah, blah. So they're that easy. You just, I did start making my own, but it's a hell of a lot of hard work, time-wise. These, they cost, when you buy the stretcher bars, they cost, 70 pence or like a dollar each or something. Um, very little. So you fit them all together, they just fit together like a little jigsaw puzzle. Like so. And the other thing you get with them are these little wedges which fit into these. Oh, hang on. Yeah, they fit into there. They, you get wedges with them. Make sure you get these wedges. And then when you're painting, you'll find you'll need those, especially when you get on tutorial paints. Because the canvas stretches, you put them in there and it'll keep it all tight. So you get it like that, okay. Then you get some material. I've been personally using this, which is like high quality linen. You can get rolls of print canvas works just as well. That's what I've used on a lot of my paintings. Then you cut out a piece that's gonna fit this. Obviously you wanna make sure you've got like the width of that over the top so it stretches. So you put it face down with the cloth underneath like that. Obviously the right size and you wanna just cut it with a pair of scissors until you've got a, the piece appropriate to the frame that you're making. Then this is how I do it, but you can actually use it. You can use pliers and pin down one side and then stretch that side and staple it down. I'll show you the stapler in a minute, but personally what I do is I use this. And for about $150, probably less in America, it's like about £100 for this really useful tool. So what happens here is this comes off, it's got Velcro. This is coming to the end of its life. I've overused it, the ratchet then starting to wear out. It's got a ratchet system here. And it's got this here. So it's got this hook, that hook stretches over to the other side, a similar bar, and you can tuck the cloth underneath, you tuck it underneath there and then put the bar on top, put this ratchet into that hole, and then as you do this, it gives it a nice even stretch. 
And when you get good at it, you can make a canvas up in like 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, for the sake of 10 to 15 minutes, so the price at the end of it will be, with your time as well, two pounds. So here's one I did, uh, and then, ah, oh, once you've got the cloth on and it's stretched, you just need to get a decent staple gun. They're easy enough to get. Um, just make sure that you can get the replacement staples for the whatever machine you get, because um, you can get a powered one. You may already have one, but like the staple gun, it's really annoying because you can buy one of these and all of a sudden they stop making the staples, which happened to me first time. Check that out. So you just put staples in there. So it ends up looking like this. So that's, I've used the linen there and there's the staples. Then the next step is with linen, if you're using cloth, you can use calico. You can buy calico from your local fabric store. Quite often they have rolls of acrylic, especially for, um, what am I talking about, calico, especially for artists. Then once it's all on there, you want to prime it. So with this stuff, I'm just going to get it with gesso. like this so it's this stuff you can again look out for the special offers like i did that will do quite a few canvases and you just brush it on it's probably a good idea to put two or three layers on that will tighten it up then you want to put the wedges in once you start painting so just so two or three layers of gesso and you're ready to go you're ready to rock and roll it's as simple as that. Or you can put print roll on it. Print roll works really well with these um, bar thingies. That's where they come from there for printers use these. They work really well with that. And uh, that's already primed. So if you buy a print roll, I don't know, 50, for 50 pounds, you can buy a roll and do loads of canvases. Especially if you're working in acrylics, that's probably the best bet. I've just worn to using this linen because it's a really nice substrate to work with. So there you go, there you have it. How to stretch, the most cost effective way to do it. This is PTL Arts, ptlarts.com. Have a look at my website. Um, all I want to do is help. I'm going to start painting this blank canvas behind me shortly and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.